Wing knitting is German short rows. A friend of mine, Heidrun Ligman, in Germany, um, decided to put a name to this short row technique. The difference is, is that it uses a marking system. So I call this organized freeform, basically, very organic looking. However, when Heidrun was starting to knit this short row technique, she found a movement to it. And it was very um, back and forth and had a rhythm going. Therefore, what she decided was it was so much fun, it sort of had a rhythmic beat like swinging, swing dancing, uh, swing music. So she called it swing knitting. And um, in her interpretation of everything, she writes everything in musical terms. For instance, these organic areas she calls uh, stanzas, and the areas in between the stanzas she calls pauses. The formula she calls her melody, and on and on and on. So hence the name Swing Knitting Graphs. And this was back in 2010 in the summer where I thought, I'll give myself a birthday gift. This stuff is too cool looking. I need to know how to do it. So that's how it started. What I did was I noticed that on the website for Gabi Kluge, who comes from Berlin, she's the one who had offered this class. She was offering a live class in Lorbach, Germany at a castle and with a moat still around it for three days. And I decided I'm going to put my big girl panties on, I'm going to fly over there, and I'm going to learn from the expert. And that's where I met Hydran. So I had the time of my life, but I was way over my head, and it just gave me an entirely new world of art to pursue. Um, some of the pieces that some of her seasoned knitters had done at that time, which she was doing for seven years already, were phenomenal. They did landscapes. And this happened to be a landscape class where you actually blended single strands of yarn to create colors. Three weeks later, Hydran contacted me and asked if she could send something to me and have me take a look at it. It was her workshop that she had been working on to introduce people to swing knitting, which is what she called. I asked, would you be willing to allow me to use your material to present it to some, cl you know, in classes here? Well, she said, absolutely, I want this thing to grow. And that's how we started. I think the biggest thing is, is finding other people that get equally as excited as I do. You can apply this to almost anything that you're knitting. If you're knitting an accessory, say like a scarf, you can put a patch of this organic look in your scarf or shawl or even a handbag. You can felt it in, which is fantastic too, you know, using a wool and then making these wonderful handbags with felted wool with all these organic areas. Um, you can add it to a jacket, a sweater, a skirt, you name it. You can add it to socks by choosing different colors you can have a totally different looking garment of some sort. My eyes dance. <laughs> no matter where I go, they're always looking um, at what, what someone else has put together. Uh, I like things that flow. I like the creator's paintbrush. <laughs> to, to be quite honest, all I have to do is just look at even a magazine. Um, there are some fabrics and fabric stores where certain colors are used together, and I'm going, that's really great. I love that combination. Have a blast. Just let it go. Don't get all caught up in, oh, I have to do this here or that here. Just do it. It's a very forgiving technique, but don't stress yourself out. Just. As Hydrun has said, you've got to put a lot of kilometers of yarn on your needles before you really, really just sit back and let it flow and be happy with it. So don't give up. You can do it. Just do it, you know?